Hey guys, welcome to today's video where I will be doing a bit of a review of the Lego Queen Anne's Revenge from Pirates of the Caribbean. This set is numbered 4195 and consists of 1049 pieces with, well it says 10 minifigures but that counts for the skeleton at the mast and the two skeletons at the back there. So the minifigures you see at the front there are the, technically the ones it comes with, which is seven of them. So I like to see it at seven. So this set costs a lot of money and is very rare to find. Yeah, so you're looking at easily a thousand dollars brand new, you know, 700, a thousand, somewhere around there. Some of these figures are exclusive and hard to find themselves, which bring up the value of the set. Uh, without further ado, I'll just do a little bit of a showcase of the actual ship itself. It comes with these really cool little masts here, but there's like very ever so slight darker hinge of like maroon, red that goes lighter there. And then same with the front, the, all, the, all the masts there, and just the, the printing on them is awesome with the swords and the crown and stuff, just the detailing is awesome. These masts alone are exclusive and very hard to find and same with the flag up there. Overall, it just it just really looks awesome. Yeah, I, it's very comparable to the Black Pearl. The Black Pearl is more iconic, but this still just looks awesome. Yeah, so I guess we'll start at the front here. Um, now the original set actually comes with a transparent orangey skeleton at the front, um, but I actually purchased this second hand of someone and he didn't have that piece. So it was just a gray one. And that piece is worth like $40 itself. So I just, I just couldn't be bothered getting that. But other than that, most of it is 100% complete. I think there's maybe one or two other different color parts or whatever, but other than that, it's complete. So here's a little close up of the front here. It's, um, it's actually a really neat little build here, the way the front build here, and also just the skeletons um, and all the bones that I put here. I like this little part here, it's just a skeleton torso that clips onto a one by one clip. Yeah, and just the detailing of the lanterns, with the lanterns, and then it's just re it's just repeated on the same side there. Yeah, and I think the original set also has a golden, golden chalice as well, but... Yeah, so it's a pretty cool build at the front here. I like how the, the skeleton attaches there, which is really cool. Yeah, so up here, it's just a very basic build of the crow's nest, I guess. It doesn't it's not really come with the crow's nest, I guess, but it's very, very similar to the Black Pearl build with the clips that clip on these mask pieces. Same, it's very similar to the Black Pearl as well with how that part comes together, with the front sails. So I've just gone ahead and taken the mask off just to give a better look of the interior of the, um, the ship here. It's pretty basic. It comes with the four or three of these cannons here. Yeah, it's a very, very standard basic build. Um, it's nothing very spectacular, um, but does the job. Little barrel there, and then this little, I guess, play feature really, where you wind up the anchor, which is cool, but doesn't really, it's just loose. That doesn't really, uh, I guess. Still cool, nonetheless. Um, but what you would notice is these bones here as for the detailing across, which I think looks really cool actually. Yeah, it just gives it that look that it has from the um, from on Stranger Tides with the, the bones and skeleton look. So it's got a bone pieces there, but then these ones aren't actually bones, they're just normal bars, just so they can fit on top of each other like that, which is pretty cool. Here's just a, a side view of the cannon flaps. I don't actually know what they're called exactly. Yeah, I think the original set has stickers as well on there, but again, the, the guy that I purchased, I didn't have the stickers, and the sticker sheet alone is worth like $40 as well. I might look into getting that in the future, I don't know. But still looks cool, the, the black um, on the side. Um, and here's the side mast here. I have to double check, I'm pretty sure I built it right, but I just feel like this part here is a little bit low for like the, the steering of the ship and stuff, but nonetheless, that's what it looks like there, which is pretty cool. I might actually take that off to get a better look. So yeah, the, the, honestly, the front of the ship is, I mean, it's cool, but it's nothing very spectacular and fancy. Where it does start to get special and cool is from here onwards. The hull of the ship is just, when I was building this, it was actually a really cool, fun little build. Now got cool little sails here um which i think is just really cool it just it just looks awesome <laughs> with the 
sail pieces there on the side. Um, and it's got little skulls here on the side. Now, a little bit disappointed with the build of this here, how it's just like that, it's just flimsy. Doesn't, doesn't connect to anything. And this piece I have as well is just happens to be a little bit flimsy too. So it does move around a little bit, but it still looks all right. It's not the end of the world. With these days standard Lego, they would have found a great way to clip it in and stuff, but it still looks all right. So here's the hull of the ship, which I think looks really awesome. I love this lantern build here and the way it just connects. Well, here's the rudder but as well, which it's just a basic rudder build. Does a job, looks cool. The skeletons there look cool. Yeah, I'm really very impressed with this, um, with the lantern build here. It's just cool with little black skeletons there. I don't know why this isn't focusing very well. Yeah, it just looks awesome. It was just basic. It, yeah, you can see the build. It's pretty basic, yet just really effective and looks cool in the way that just pops out. I think this is like an elephant trunk piece or something. And, I like the way how the window piece as well is put in and angled and stuff, which is really cool. I like the detail of the skeletons on the side there. And here's just the front little look here. Now this piece here, this top part, literally isn't even attached by any studs. It's just, it just slides off like that. And then it's got one by four plate to just sort of stop it from sliding around. So that's the interior there of the captain's cabin. Just a little map in there, little chair, that's where Blackbeard resides. So that just pops back on there. So the last sort of little thing you guys, it's sort of the play feature slash, you know, just the way you take it apart. Now this here, it's, it's an interesting build, but it's actually, so this here, it sort of lifts up and then just detaches like that. And it's connected with this little clamp piece. Oh, I can't remember the name of that connection, but and it's just connected to that part there and then by these two little studs you sort of just lift it up but yeah that's, that's just how you get access to it very basic build at the bottom and stuff there's nothing really special there's nothing hidden in here i think in the back panel there's a couple of barrels or rats or whatever put in there but yeah so that is sort of a good little look at the ship the looks just are really the selling point so yeah that's the main look of the ship it looks awesome. I'll go, I'll go put it on display with next to the Black Pearl, which will look really cool. And now I'll go on to the, have a close look at the uh, minifigures. So first up, we have uh, Captain Blackbeard himself, which comes with this awesome little gold and silver jewel molded sword, which is really cool. It's like a rubbery material. Yeah, it's just a close look at the printing he's got. He's just got plain black legs and his beard piece is like a really soft rubber as well. Very cool figure. He, he appears in you know, another set as well in the Fountain of Youth, I believe, but he's still a pretty desirable figure, so which, which is why he's still worth about 30 to $40. Here's just a little look at what he looks like without the beard or the sword. Captain's hat right there. I love that mold in that piece. Nice bit of back printing and a cool, cool face that you could use for a lot of other characters really and mock ups and other cool characters. But yeah, a very cool figure. Next up is who else but Captain Jack Sparrow himself. I think the, this specific one appears in a, one or two other sets. I love the um, jewel molded hat and hair piece. That's just one of my favorite pieces. It just, yeah, it's so cool and just really sells the look of him um there's not a whole lot to be said about this figure cool little face print very nice torso and leg printing and it comes with the compass and um yeah not much to be said about him looks awesome here we have my favorite figure which is angelica with the awesome jewel molded hair and hat piece combo yeah just an awesome figure with the, even a really cool torso print and then in front we have the little um voodoo doll of jack sparrow which that piece alone is worth like 30 or 40 dollars because it's exclusive to the set too yeah just just an awesome figure i just i just love that that hair and hat piece but yeah a very awesome figure indeed and she is worth a hundred or so dollars just herself next up we have the quartermaster zombie um i actually really like this figure i think it's really cool an awesome face print with the tattoos at the back there 
pretty basic chest print at the back, but at the front is a cool print, just tan color arms and hands, normal light gray pants or um, leg piece. Um, but yeah, very cool head piece and print. It's only valued at about 10 or so dollars. He is exclusive to this set. I thought he would have been worth a bit more. A very cool figure nonetheless. So this minifigure here is called a Yelman Zombie, I believe. I just looked it up on Bricklink before. Now, he's not worth a whole lot, only because he appears in some other little pack thing and also the smaller $20 Captain's Cabin set that came out from this year. Again, though, doesn't mean it's a bad figure. You could really fit him in like a Lord of the Rings scene, really. <laughs> cool figure, nonetheless. Comes with the, that long hair piece in the black there. Cool little torso print. Cool figure. Up next, we have the Gunner Zombie, which again is not a very expensive minifigure because he appears in four sets, same as the other the previous zombie figure, as well as this one comes in the White Cat Bay set. It doesn't mean a bad figure at all. He's just not exclusive, that's all. Yeah, just a nice little print at the back there. Yeah, not much to say, really. Last but certainly not least, we have the Cook minifigure, who is exclusive to this set. Yeah, so just nice little printing the front and the back, cool little print. But yeah, a very awesome figure indeed. But yeah, a very awesome figure indeed, and she is worth a hundred or so dollars just herself. So yeah, printing. All right, so back to square one now. As you can see, a very nice hat set to have, very desirable and collectible. A set of awesome minifigures, um, and just a beautiful looking ship, the sails, everything. There's not a whole lot else to say, but I just want to say thanks for watching. And um, please leave a comment, like, subscribe, all that stuff. And let me know what you'd like to see in the future. And give me some different ways you'd like me to see review certain things. Um, hope you've enjoyed that little preview of the Pirates of the Caribbean Queen and Revenge set. Yeah, feel free to leave a comment, like, subscribe, all that good stuff. And I'll see you in the next video. Thanks for watching.